Welcome everyone to San Jose, California. Just under an hour away from New Japan Battle in the Valley. It is Ian Riccoboni and Drama King Matt Raywald. Matt, two huge matches before we go live on the Iron Fight TV. That's right, as if Battle in the Valley wasn't big enough. It was, it was too big just for the event to hold itself. Right. We got some awesome matches here to kick off the entire event, starting off with this monster you see right here in front of you. And Ian, this one has been a long time brewing, a long time coming. Absolutely, two of the stalwarts of New Japan Strong, including this monster, monster among men, J.R. Kratos. Well, he and his opponent here tonight have been on each other's case, on each other's tails for the greater part of nearly 18 months. But we have a rubber match here tonight where things will be decided once and for all. You see the slim trim yellow gear. He's lost over 40 oh, pounds since we've last seen him. Your point, it's a scary, scary thing when a man like it, when you say lost 40 pounds, that's like a third of me. Right. And, and still looks the way he does, huge, intimidating, terrifying. And, and, it, and hasn't traded any strength or no, something. Exactly. And, and he's gotten faster. I mean, this already an intimidating force, but this man did not back down. He is the android, one of the first graduates of this class of the New Japan LA Dojo. Right, and it was upon graduating from that LA JoJo class that this man right here, the android himself, Alex Coglin, first went one on one. If, I, if I, my, my memory does serve me correctly, with JR Kratos, it was victorious in that first contest. What a way to explode onto the scene here in New Japan Pro Wrestling proper for Coglin. Coglin, of course, had the Alex Coglin Open Challenge Series where he was testing himself against some of the best wrestlers I was in part the world. Of that. You were. Yes. I, I, I got to be. He was the first person I faced when coming here to New Japan Pro Wrestling back in 2021. And uh, that day, right then, I knew that this was one of the most talented young men in the business. You can't ask for anything more. Both men in tremendous physical condition. Coglin, of course, nursed an injury after his return in Philadelphia, which led to a tour of Japan where he teamed with Gabe Kidd in the World Tag League. If he didn't, he must. So he is looking spry and healthy. Of course, we talked about Kratos being in tip-top phenomenal condition here. Referee Jeremy Marcus on the case here. And fans, coming up, as, as Matt has said, we have two matches for you, complimentary, because we believe in what we are showing you here tonight on Battle in the Valley. But when we hit that top of the hour, whether it's 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, sold-out crowd who's filing in here. That's right, but already, I mean, yeah, like you said, the crowd's still filing into the San Jose oh! Santa Care. But even before that incredible crash there from Kratos, just the energy from the crowd that, that has gotten here so far is already starting to boil over. The electricity is starting to, to, to fizzle through this building. You can already feel it, Ian. Just as Coughlin felt that. I think I felt that all the way over here on the stage. I would just run at this point. I mean, Coughlin obviously is not. Oh, you, yeah, no, no way. But I would. I feel like there's not much you wouldn't run from. Hey, man. I didn't <laughs> run from Jericho in AEW Ring of Honor. Fair enough, but here we go, maybe again. Oh. Oh. It took my lumps just as Coughlin did, but I didn't run. Absolute thunderous open palm overhand chop there from the monster KR Kratos echoing through the San Jose Civic here. And a big Irish whip. Kratos charging it still oh, over that 300 pound oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Which makes it more impressive that Coglin manhandles him. A literal standing switch and now shoulders to the midsection. Small things that I want people to notice the way, not only, of course, that Coglin caught that. Oh! Caught that splash, but then the ease with which he just lifted Kratos onto the top rope there as well. The strength of Coglin cannot be denied. And Coglin here. Knife edge chop. And Matt, I don't know if you'll agree with me here, but Kratos is so much more vulnerable when he's when he's on the mat, when he's on his knees. I think if Coglin can continue to keep him down there, I think that might be a winning game plan. I mean, it's a classic strategy. These are both 
big, strong boys right here. But chop the tree down, Kratos has a little bit of that height advantage for sure, as you see him just one-handedly throwing the android, tying him up in the ropes, those solid steel cables. Absolutely focusing on the shoulder, which has seen its better days for Alex Coughlin. Coughlin has fought through injuries to the knee and the shoulder. As a pace lock here from J.R. Kratos, and he is so much more dangerous now that he's dropped that weight. Again, like he said, oh, oh my oh, God! Oh. Hasn't sacrificed strength for speed. And did you see the way Coughlin, again, a large man of his own right, just get thrown, I've always wanted to say this, like a sack of potatoes right. across the ring by J.R. Kratos, just nearly bouncing all the way out of the ring. And I, I think Kratos, he's going for number two. He's coming back for seconds here. And in the neutral corner from one oh to my another. God. Landed on his knees. I can't throw a football that far. He just threw a, a 250-pound-plus man. I need to point out, again, what Kratos is setting up there is a suplex, which normally lands your opponent flat on their back, right, slamming them down to the mat. But in this case, the force is so much. Coughlin literally went all the way over, rotated onto his knees, nearly his face there. The power of Kratos not being denied here in San Jose. And now just stalking Coughlin. That shot to the jaw follows it up with another, that forearm. And when we talk about this is 18 months in the making, back and forth, two bulls who've been traded close to the horn Ooh. for well over a year now. One match apiece to their record. Who comes out of this one as Coglin looking to lift the monster? Can he get him up? He couldn't quite sink the hips as low as he wanted there. Well, the, those tossing suplexes from Kratos landed. Coggin on his tailbone, compacting the spine, maybe impacting his ability to lift someone like Kratos. And come Ooh. through with the lariat, plants him down. And the cover here. Hooks the leg. Two and just a two count there. Referee Jeremy Marcus in perfect position. This is the first of two bouts you will see here as we head to the top of the hour. Battle in the Valley, a history-making night. Mercedes Monet challenges Kyrie for the IWGP World Women's Championship. And we will see Kazuchika Okada defend the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship against Hiroshi Tanahashi. Look at the strength again. We are kicking off in fine fashion here. Deadlift suplex into the cover. Two. Kratos. Not enough to put Coglin. The android stays in it. You see Coglin, though, writhing in pain, holding that lower back. I mean, a lot of damage, like I said, to that spine. Not only those early splashes in the corner, those huge tossing suplexes compacting the spine. A lot of damage done to the back of the android. And so far, neither man has really lost their temper at this point. We knew this was a grudge match. Both men fighting a, a clean fight back and forth here. But Kratos with the advantage delivers the forearm. Yeah, everything been very deliberate for both Kratos and Coggin so far. As an Irish whip now into the blue corner, up and over Coglin. Grabs a hold of the waist. Oh, could be looking for a German suplex here. There's Five the strength to Five Coglin. Minutes. And standing switch there from Kratos. And ducks down standing switch now. Great separation, ducks the right, it's Coughlin, kick to the midsection. Okay, okay. Big slap! Oh. A little bit of payback for those chops earlier on. And now once again going for the oh. slam, gets him off his feet this time. Has him up. And up oh, and over oh the bridge! God. Two and wow! Not only gets him up, that bridging fall away slam. Oh, oh boy. No, Matt, Matt. He He's strong, but is he is he this strong? You're damn right he is. The deadlift gut wrench suplex to Kratos by Coglin. An earth shattering suplex. Coglin now at a crossroads. The damage already done to the back, but it looks no worse for the wear as he bridges up. You see a lot of wrestlers often do the nip up out of, out of energy, out of to fire up the Coglin, the strength and flexibility, literally bending back to his feet. Oh. And Coglin always the workout warrior. It was always one more rep, one more squat, one more thrust. In the dojo training with Shibata, that endurance training is coming into play here as he's unloading on Kratos. 
Some chops of his own to the big man here. And now the Lariat brings Kratos off his feet again. And charging in, Coglin connects in the corner. And ever since Coglin graduated from the dojo, it always seems like Kratos was always there. Wow! Constantly in the background like a specter on his newfound career in professional wrestling. Just like he was right there with that beautifully placed kick upside the head of Coglin. New Japan strong over the years has found some, some uncut gems, some diamonds in the rough chair. Kratos certainly one of those. In addition, it's been so fun to see the rise of the talent from the LA Dojo, the graduates. Here is a perfect collision between those roads intersecting. Coglin and Kratos, 18 months in the making here. As they look to get back to their feet, it is Coglin to his knees first, Kratos not far behind. This has been a very, as close to about a 50-50 matchup as you can get. Again, who's gonna walk out of this? With the positive record, one and one they stand. Fires through with the forearm there. And it's Kratos who's reeling, but rares back and connects with an open hand. Oh, Kaga responds in time. And now for the first time, Kaga, three, four, five, six in a row. Kaga building up steam with the forearms. And it is great wobbling there for a second, but a surprise. Oh, and a Larry out of his own. Clears him down, hooks the leg, cover. Two and three. Oh, just a two count there. And I got to point out a little less life in that kick out than there has been prior. And I have to point out that Kratos is a little faster to continue after the pin. Normally, with that bigger frame, it took just a split second more to get back into the offense. He's quicker, he's faster. And it's paying dividends right now. Speed and agility of Kratos oh! has been very, very keenly noticed here by Coglin and, of course, by everybody here in attendance in San Jose. Capacity crowd filling in as we inch closer to the top of the hour, the start of battle in the valley. We hope you join us. It is a history-making night. You can order it on Fight.tv. If you are in the United States, New Japan World, if you are watching with us in Japan here tonight, it is Kratos. Second rope on the inside has Coglin all the way to the top of the blue corner. This could bring the roof down on the building here tonight. Whoa! Whoa! What a counter! Coglin! What agility from Coglin, who looks to pull. Kratos all the way down. And he's been looking for that German suplex for, for a good, good part of the match of here. Ten minutes. Can he get it from the top? Oh, look at the strength of the android. Finally gets it into the bridge. Two. Got it. Victorious. Today's match, 10 minutes. Alex Kogi Sensei showing us. And what a victory! And what a victory! For Alex Coglin, the android. One and one, even no longer. The record moves in a positive tick for Alex Coglin. Can maybe finally put the specter of J.R. Kratos behind him as he steps out further into the world of professional wrestling here in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And you see Coglin. And Kratos, Kratos, who's challenged for the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship. And I think that leads me to believe that Coglin now enters the realm of championship contenders. If you're not in this business, you get to the very, very top of wherever you're at. You're not in it for the right reasons. And I have to imagine championship gold is on the mind of that man right there, Alex Coglin. Later tonight, as we cross the top of the hour, we will see that strong open weight championship on the line. Fred Ross for the champion, defends against Kenta. And one of our four, five, five, five huge championships, championship matches. Thank on you, the line. Well, unless, hey, math was never my strong subject, yeah, but yeah. I was just counting there. A huge matchup for the rest of the night here at Battle Valley. New Japan Pro Wrestling returns to Las Vegas, Nevada. Saturday, October 28th, it is Fighting Spirit Unleashed in Sam's Town Live. Witness, Sanada, Tetsuya Naito, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Eddie Kingston, Julia, Shingo Takagi, Tama Tonga, and the stars of CMLL. 
Tickets are available right now at Ticketmaster.com. PW Academy at the LA Dojo. Looking to start your journey or add to your existing knowledge? NJPW Academy is the place to be. There's only one place to get New Japan strong, and that's the NJPW Academy. Head to NJPW1972.com for more information. I want you for NJPW Academy. All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce. Where's this one going? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. rivalry here between two of the stalwarts, the pillars, the paragons of New Japan Pro Wrestling. You can call it Magic versus Bird, Gretzky Lemieux. You can put it up with some of the all-time great sports rivalries. Anoki Hansen here in New Japan. Tiger Mask and Dynamite Kid. That's the level of history that intertwines these two men. The record holder for most reigns as IWGP Heavyweight Champion, the championship that merged into the current incarnation of the IWGP World Heavyweight title. Hiroshi Tanahashi is a man that has done it all. On one occasion, he has defeated his opponent here tonight to capture that IWGP Heavyweight Championship. But this is only his second attempt and first at Okada for the current incarnation of the richest prize in New Japan, the IWGP World Heavyweight title. He trails their lifetime rivalries, five, seven, and three. But he has an advantage when including tag team bouts. building. And you see the robe in homage to Antonio Inoki, as are the black trunks that you will see. 
Okada has had a lot on his mind since capturing the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. I wonder heading into this match if this is almost a trap match for Okada. Is his attention split too much? Recently attacking GHC Heavyweight Champion Naito Kyoki Ilmaev. And he's drawn the ire of the NOAA fan base in Japan. However, Okada's the kind of guy that always likes to have a few irons in the fire. And he likes to grab the headline. Grab the attention. There's one way to do that, and that's to win big money matches like we're seeing here tonight. Well, you don't get to the level that Okada has gotten to without having your focus firmly placed where it needs to be at any given time. For Okada, almost 11 years ago to the day, that time was a championship bout with the man across the ring from him right here tonight. You talked about Mercedes Money calling her shot. Well, Okada called his shot 11 years ago against that man, Tanahashi, and it paid big dividends. It launched his career and his two title victories over Tanahashi for that IWGP Heavyweight Championship solidified Okada. Back then it was the Rainmaker shock. Just come back from excursion. Still a very young man in his career calling out the world champion. That was the unexpected shock of it. This young man early on in his career claiming the world title. Tonight we get the possibility of almost an inverse shock. Tanahashi is someone who is not shy about being in the later years of his career, is hoping for maybe just that last one run. That could be the shock here, taking on someone like Okada in their prime, taking the title away and getting that one last glorious run on top with world championship gold. 46 was the age Keiji Muto, Keiji Muto was when he had his final run at the top of the mountain. The sands of time at this point may be working against Tanahashi, but he is in peak physical condition. Coming off a win against Kenta. <laughs> San Jose, I, I can't say it on air, but I agree with you 100%. Tanahashi and Okada love coming to the United States. This match has only happened once before on United States soil. It was the beginning of the G1 in 2019. It has not happened for the current incarnation of the title in the United States of the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. Okada, like we mentioned, 7-5-3 and three advantage against Tanahashi. He is 5-2 and two in championship bouts, including two victories. When the IWGP Heavyweight Championship was on the line. We see an exchange of wrist locks here. We mentioned the black trunks in homage to Antonio Inoki. That's right. Inside. You, you, mentioned, you mentioned Kaiji Mudo earlier. 46, when he had his last big championship ring. It was at that time in 2009. That's when Tanahashi won his first world championship from Kaiji Mudo. And so that he was much of a mentor to him. He wants to have one final run, much like Mudo did. He wants to have that moment in his career, that, that time in the sun. And what a chance to do that against a story rival like Okada. The feeling out process here. Which, which is kind of funny to me in a way. Two guys who have faced off so many times and, and, just, and know each other so well, have been at the top of the New Japan Pro Wrestling scene for so long, and, and yet still here we are. We got, you gotta, every, every match is a new, is a new slate. You got to feel each other out. And we've seen, especially as of late with Okada, there's been new wrinkles. There's been new additions to the game plan. You know, the, the victory a few years ago against Tanahashi really put Okada back in the driver's seat with increasing confidence. <laughs> and, and this is interesting, because twice now, twice now there were clean breaks, but it was almost patronizing what Okada was doing. It was just, it was a little a subtle, not or not so subtle reminder of who is in control 
at this moment, at this place, at this time. Off the ropes, nice drop down there. And oh. arm drag take over time. Oh. She maintains control here. And there's the ace for you, always still spry, ready to bust out. A beautiful, beautiful arm drag like that. These two men have been in the ring together 336 times. Oh! That includes singles and tag Did you bouts. count each individual one and in? Yes, and that includes the, the first time they were in the same ring together was a six-man tag back on September 4th, 2008, where they were teaming with Manayabu Nakanishi against Prince Devitt, Giant Bernard, and Rick Fuller. It shows you the connection as the guitar is tossed into the stands. The connection these two men have had for the greater part of the last 15 years. Tanahashi, among all bouts, is actually plus 49, which includes those tag team bouts we talked about. But they've often been tag team partners, which makes things even more interesting. Oh, and there's the drop kick then. That's vertical history lead. there. Yeah, absolutely. And the first high, high impact maneuver of this matchup drops Tanahashi to the floor. I have to imagine, given all that history you just laid out for us, you know, these two, no matter the outcome, no matter what, what the future brings, will be indelibly linked to each other, to New Japan Pro Wrestling, to the history of professional wrestling in general. And one thing that Okada said that has stuck in my mind that I keep coming back to is he believes if he turns this challenge away, this may be the last time we see these two men compete. Oh, the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. So tonight, this is an opportunity where the ace shot, it, it almost needs to happen now or never if it's up to Okada. But the question is, he's taking this matchup. We talked a little bit about it before the broadcast scene. He's taking this matchup. <laughs> on a week's notice, right? very short notice. One. Especially at this stage in your career, Two. if you're Tanahashi, you want that Three. time to prepare. Oh. 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 Shots to the midsection here yeah. as we go up the aisle. But oh. T just plants Tanahashi. Eight. Very Nine. deliberate here, just driving ahead of Tanahashi <laughs> into the ramp there. And we are in the second half of the 20 count here. 12. 13. Kata looking to bring Tanahashi, and he does. Cool. Oh, Kata now, Tanahashi back into the ring. And Kata here in firm control has taken the pace of this matchup in the palm of his hand. Let's not forget, just one week ago, we mentioned with Tanahashi defeating Kenta, Okada defeating Shingo. So both of these men Coming fighting big victories. Big victories, but also short rest. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I, I'm wondering right now if they're being doubly sure with the precision and the game plan. They want to make their moves count. Face lock here from Okada. DDT again. And that time stacking the neck. One, two. And that spine's got to be like a stack of dimes right now, Matt. Just planting Tanahashi center of the ring. And you saw all the damage done to the head, but uh, you know, we saw in that video package how, how appropriate back during that Rainmaker shock, that incredible bout for the world title nearly 11 years ago. Okada knocked the teeth right. out of Tanahashi's mouth. And, and then recently, he had a head of similar accident, which removed his front teeth. So now he's just, he's in a very similar situation where he was at that historic moment 11 years ago. It's just, it's this strange poetic justice here for Tanahashi and Okada, who, I don't know if he was attempting a little bit of an arrogant pin there. Trying to establish some and, dominance and, and over his old rival. And there's some things to, I don't want to read too much into it, Matt. There are things, though, that I'm seeing out of Okada. He's almost taking Tanahashi lightly in some regards, in some ways. Do you think he's looking at this almost as a, I don't, I'm afraid to put it this way, but an, an old yeller kind of situation, like, I, uh, here you go, old man, I'll, I'll give you one last shot. I, I don't want to read too much into it, but 
it, it almost it feels, feels that way. Feels moments, that way. In certain moments. Again, I, I, I'm actually 100% with you in, I, I don't, knowing Okada as we do somewhat, I, that doesn't right. seem like him, but it, yeah. it's feeling that way in certain moments. Charging in, Tanahashi, big boots here. <laughs> Clearly, Tanahashi might be feeling something similar, not gonna let Okada walk all over him. And Irish whip now, Tanahashi off the ropes. Big forearm connects. And that's the opening that Tanahashi needed. The ace looks to turn things around. And if, Tanah if Tanahashi has a pulse, he will be in this match, patronage or not. Forearm connects. Body shots from Tanahashi. He's got Okada reeling right now. Scooping up Okada, big time slam. That's the world champion. Second rope on the inside. Cannonball! Ooh. Cannonball connects. Hooks the leg. The Two. Title. Referee Jeremy Marcus, perfect position. Make the count there. And now it's Okada who's on the back foot, who's on the defense here. Tanahashi off the ropes. Oh, shotgun Ooh. to the knee. And he just hypercented that, that left knee. Now you see Okada. Ooh. He tried to put the boot up now. And he couldn't plant. Oh. Couldn't plant with the right. Instead, gets the left jam. And could that be the strategy? It's hard to hit any finishing maneuver if you can't walk. Yeah, yet alone the Rainmaker. I mean, he. You eliminate that plant foot, you eliminate a majority of the force on that on that big clothesline. And, and Tanahashi's going for broke here. He's all the way to the top. Okada's on the floor. This is a huge risk. The ace goes for a fly. Oh, oh my oh. God. High fly flow all the way to the outside. Take a look at this again. Watching slow motion, wow. beautifully placed by Tanahashi. But that took a lot out of both competitors here. And that was high across the chest, the hang time, contributing to the Newtonian force that drives the air through the diaphragm of Okada. Don't get me wrong, that's gonna take a lot out of Tanahashi, but he's to change the complexion of this bout. This main event bout for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship with just one move. 20 count, about halfway there. Tanahashi, great move, gotta get Okada back into the ring. Take advantage of this moment. Climb back to that mountaintop. A mountaintop in many ways that Tanahashi helped define in the role as champion for New Japan Pro Wrestling. Great counter there. A duck down. Tanahashi fights out of it. Irish whip reversed. It's Okada in control. Charging in. Flapjack. Okada flapjacks Tanahashi, but on the way down, it looked like he tweaked his shoulder there, Matt. You see him writhing in pain. I mean, either that or for, from the high fly flow on high fly flow on the floor there. The damage still maintaining there. And how fortuitous would that be if that high fly flow, which you're absolutely right, Matt, that's gonna rattle Okada's spine, his neck, his shoulder. And now on, on even offensive moves, Okada has to have that in the back of his mind. And again, if you're trying to hit the Rainmaker, any damage to the, the arm and shoulder is gonna make it even more difficult. Oh, ooh, once again, the drop kick to the knee of the champion. And he's hit that left knee with the drop kick twice. And a dragon screw. He has got a strategy in mind, does Tanahashi. Tanahashi, corner to corner. Up and caught. Oh, and great oh, catch. Oh, kind of puts him right on the quad, on the knee. I bet he's still feeling the effects on that knee Two. of his own. Two count there. And he gave up his own knee. Now, granted. He came down on the right knee with Tanahashi's head, but he had to plant with that left knee. He, he, that's gotta be in the back of his head. Now, every time he hits an offensive move, Tanahashi has Okada wounded. I mean, that affects everything. I mean, you try to pick someone up like this, there's gonna be a little bit of pain in that knee. 
Cristiano looking to go to the top. He loves that big elbow drop. Still continuing to shake off the damage done to his knee, trying to get some feeling back. Oh! Connects on Tanahashi. But doesn't go for the cover. Has a lot of respect for his opponent there. He knows he's going to have to do more to put him away. And it's the Rainmaker pose. And we may be looking for defining more with the Rainmaker. Wrist clutch. Tanahashi fighting out of it. Tanahashi holding on for dear life here. Not letting his championship oh. aspirations slip away. Caught. A knuckle lock above the head. Got the wrist locked up there now. Great submission. Just wearing Tanahashi down, and, and he's going to be in trouble here. Center of the ring, Tanahashi reaching for those ropes. Does not want this pursuit to end this way. Variation of the uh, camel, the oh. cobra clutch, excuse me, driving down on the spine. And again, the top wrist lock across. Right back to it. Side cobra clutch from Okada. Very effective getting underneath, really putting the point of the wrist in the carotid artery. Not only that, then you have to bone your forearm across the chin, across the jaw there of Tanahashi as well. And a tight grip, that hand bicep grip. Tanahashi able to get to the ropes there. But every time Okada is able to get a hold like that on, he wears down Tanahashi a little bit more. And again, I'm not trying to draw too much attention to it, but Tanahashi is, is not in the early days of his career. He's, his body has been beaten, it has been bruised, it has been broken on many occasions. But it's also been calloused, and it has the experience, it has the muscle memory. The clothesline caught. Oh. And that's on full display Ooh. right here. Oh, traps the arms. Oh, oh into a bridge to the title on the balance. Oh. Just a two count. And I am happy to eat crow on that, on that exchange there. Just when I'm talking about how much Tanahashi has left, he busts that out. Absolutely devastating. Off the ropes, gut wrench up and over. Tanahashi now. And Sling Blade, oh. Sling Blade connects. Almost out of nowhere for the title here. Two, the title in the balance again, just a two count. And he is getting close here. And Tanahashi senses a moment to close the door to seal the deal. Time to take advantage here. High oh. high blow on the small of the back. That is a lot of, he's not done. That's a lot of damage to the lower back. Can he follow it up with a second? Tanahashi, championship gold in his future. Oh! Knees to the exposed midsection. Just enough time there for the world champion to get the knees up. But think about the calculus Okada had to, to make in his mind. Those knees of Okada already damaged. He had to make a split second decision. Do I give up my knees once more, or do I try and absorb this high fly flow? Uh, they, I think he had to if he had, if he was going to suffer through one more high fly flow. I have to imagine it was over, and I think Okada knew that as well. So doing what he had to do to stay in this one. And looking down at the line mark, how poetic that two of the biggest stars of this century for New Japan, in the 21st century are standing in the middle of the ring on top of the lion mark in what could be their final time battling one another for the richest prize in New Japan. Two of the best giving absolutely everything they have. The amount of respect they have for each other for the championship gold that's on the line. But Okada said very clearly in the press conference yesterday that if he wins, this is the last time these two will fight in America for the title, if not the world. And he wanted that. He said he wanted Tanahashi to fight like that, knowing it was his last opportunity. As long as Okada has the gold. And Tanahashi saying, get to your feet. Delivers the forearm. 
And now the ultimate test. Welcoming the shots. Seeing who can get the better of who. Okada with just maybe a little bit more juice right now on his forearms as Tanahashi delivers what staggers Okada. And he may have hit the off button there. Maybe clipped him right on the jaw. Okada down, but responsive. Flesh meets flesh, bone meets bone. And Tanahashi seems to be absorbing these shots. Uppercut. And Tanahashi with a forearm there. European uppercut. Tanahashi's got that big barrel chest. Oh, oh, it's just nearly got caved in with that shotgun drop kick from the world champion. You can read the scenarios running through the mind of Okada by looking at his eyes of what he needs to do to leave San Jose with the championship still attacked. Oh, drop kick! There's that beautiful, that picture perfect drop kick that Okada has been very, very well known for. Tanahashi being led back to his feet. And it is Okada with the Falcon Arrow. And for Okada, any any of those inklings that I think we had before of, of taking a, taking the the older competitor lightly. Oh man, man, man! Wrist is clutched. Rainmaker Ooh. blocked. Rainmaker blocked. Shot to the knee. Oh, that's right. Those thoughts are out the window. He knows the threat. Tanahashi is now posing to the gold. Oh, went for it again. Met with a palm strike to the face. Great counter from Tanahashi. And still. Holding on to the wrist, not letting go of his opponent. Symbolic of the, the interlocking of these two great stars. A sling blade counters the Rainmaker. The bond, however contentious, that they share and perhaps forever will. The 337th time these men have shared the same ring. Tanahashi going to the top once more. They'll be looking for one more high fly flow. No! Oh! Anti-aircraft from Okada! <laughs> High fly flow is countered! Caught out of midair and now... Wrist is clutched! Time to make it right now! No, 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 no! Inside cradle! Two and... Oh no. my god! Just a two count! Just a two count there! A split second away from new world champion. Maybe looking for that Falcon Arrow again. That's countered. Dragon suplex blocked. Wrist clutched. Oh, it's a Gary. It's a Gary. Shades of Antonio Inoki. And that rocks Tanahashi. And now. Oh, pump handle slam from Okada. and stringing together offense after offense after offense. Can he finally hit the Rainmaker? Rainmaker does it! Cobra Flosion into the Rainmaker, hooks the leg, two! Okada! In our main event, our second half of our main event, turns away perhaps his greatest rival, his greatest contemporary, his greatest challenger. An absolutely incredible contest between two of the flag bearers for this company. Synonymous with the name New Japan Pro Wrestling in the century, in the 21st century, not even the decade. Hiroshi Tanahashi, the challenger, and your winner, the champion, Kazuchika Okada. The Insigiri out of the playbook of Antonio Inoki, then the Cobra Flosion. Going from that Cobra Twist position into the Emerald Flosion. But then showing that, that his finishing move, a move that has become just as synonymous with victory in New Japan, the Rainmaker. That was the factor, the deciding factor here tonight, Matt. And yet another instant classic between
two of the greatest champions in the history of New Japan Pro Wrestling. You have to wonder, is there maybe a teeny, a tiny inkling of regret from Okada after that incredible contest? Knowing that what he said now, Tanahashi will not get another opportunity at that belt. He will certainly have to, as crazy as it sounds, work his way up back the ladder, become undeniable to the point where there are no other challengers. Okada once again vanquished perhaps his greatest rival. The Rainmaker stands alone once more on top of the New Japan Mountain in front of a sold out crowd here in San Jose, California. Talk about undeniable. Right now, Shushka Okada is the definition of undeniable in the main event scene of New Japan Pro Wrestling. How was New Japan Pro Wrestling tonight? This is Pro Wrestling. This is New Japan Pro Wrestling. Thank you for your support. Tanasa! Tanasa! We show what New Japan Pro Wrestling is. Thank you, Tanasa. Arigato gozaimashita. Tanasa, let's bring back our dream tag team. Let's become IWGP Tag Team Champions! Let's make it rain! Let's make it rain! Let's make it rain! Let's make it rain! Thank you, San Jose! See you next time! というわけで、サンドジのみんなが応援してくれる限り、この俺が RWGP 世界ヘビー級チャンピオンでいる限り、ここ、サンドジに金のアメがあるんだ<laughs> hold up, hold up. Money. Yeah. Money. From one champion to another. Money. Remember when you were a kid? When you buy the Money. wrestling magazines and they'd, they'd have the champions all together and it was the coolest thing in the world? This is pretty cool right here. You're getting that <laughs> in real life. Wait, right. Let's not skip over though, really quick. That Tanahashi has just been asked by right. Okada to, to, to form the Dream Tag Team right. to capture the IWGP Tag Team Champions. And of course now Mercedes is out here. What the hell is going on? What a way to end this night. So this, I mean, you got you got your winners of the your co-main event. And, wait, Okada's hips are moving too. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard not to. <laughs>
come true tonight. Now, I heard in the back, Okada, you have a dream team in mind. But me and you have a lot in common, so I think this is the true dream team. I know you like to make it rain, but I like to make money. So what do you say? Is it time to make that money? Wow. A picture money. is worth a thousand words. This one might be worth millions of dollars. Money. I mean, if the CEO and the Rainmaker have anything to say about it, you're damn right. Mercedes wow. suggesting yeah. another dream team, perhaps, in, in, in her and Okada. Hey, I mean, we saw the historic crossover right. event. Yes. It, it might, we might get another one. Yeah. What, what, what a matchup yeah. that could be. And I was just gonna say, there, there are places where there are there are mixed tag team championship belts. Right. There's been mixed tag team bouts, like I said, at the historic crossover. I mean, I, I, you could have, you could have asked me to bet a million dollars on the winners of tonight's bouts. And, and there might have been a coin flip chance I got them both right. However, if you would have told me the night was gonna end with Mercedes money coming out and, and, and stealing the show with the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, the two champions standing on top of the world. Now, I would have had a hard time guessing that right. one too. Yeah. I would not, I would not have been able to catch in that bet. I mean, an incredible world title match to end the show. And Okada asking Tanahashi to, to, to form their dream tag team and go for the tag team titles. Mercedes right. Money coming out here and saying, hey, Okada, me and you should team up sometime. There, there's just so many. We are embarking on an incredible new era in New Japan Pro Wrestling. The possibilities are opening wide in front of us, and I, for one, am incredibly excited to see what the future could possibly hold for this company. Unlimited potential, unlimited possibilities. San Jose, California, this has been absolutely unreal here tonight. Mercedes Money calling her shot. I mean, she's the money in the bank. And as part of just an incredible card, top to bottom, I mean, we have a new strong open weight champion. Right. Jay White no longer in Jay White is gone New Japan. from New Japan Pro Wrestling. A, a, a brand new IWGP Women's Champion. It, it, an incredible no ropes right. brutality, brutality fest. Unreal tag team, strong open weight title contest. Clark Connors giving Zack Sabre Jr. everything he could. We saw sparks fly with Kushida, with Josh Alexander, and then our lasting image, the final image of the night, seeing the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, <laughs> IWGP タッグ。どうですか。あ、俺はね、またま